So, at the end of last year, I bought my Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II camera. It was a bit of a frustrating process, because at that moment, most Fujifilm cameras were out of stock, thanks to their huge popularity on social media. Because of that, I had to wait a bit for my camera. I wanted a black model and the kit version with a 27mm lens, because on my previous camera Fuji X100F, the 23mm lens was a bit too wide for me, so I thought that 27mm would be better. Unfortunately, the black XT30 Mark II with the 27mm lens kit was out of stock, which led me to start considering purchasing the XC4 camera, even though I would need to buy additional grips for it later. While I was considering this option for a few days, I found out that there was another kit version of the XT30 Mark II with the XC1545 lens. Well, this lens wasn't on my desire list, because it's quite dark, with variable aperture of f3.5 to 5.6. But then I found out that this lens has optical image stabilization, which got me thinking. In the end, I decided to buy the Fujifilm X-T30 Mark II with the kit XC1545 lens and additionally buy a used 27mm lens. And today I want to share with you my experience with this XC1545 lens and answer the question, is it any good or just cheap toy that you should avoid? If at any point you find this video useful, please feel free to drop it a like. And now let's get into the video. So, to get this out of the way, yes, it's a very cheap lens, and you can feel that it's cheap in every aspect. The design, the materials, everything just screams cheap. Let's start with a lens cap. Have you ever seen a lens cap like this before? I certainly haven't. I mean, lens caps are usually made of plastics, but this one is overly cheap. And I don't understand why Fuji couldn't use the usual one instead. Now let's see what Fujifilm says about this lens. The smallest and lightest weight in the changeable zoom lens for the X-series mirrorless digital camera range. Well, yes, it's the smallest and lightest, but they forgot to add without a design. If you take a look at other Fujifilm lenses, you'll find that they are well designed. But here it feels like Fujifilm just skipped the design development process and used a generic lens body. And now let's talk about the build quality. Over the years I've had a few cheap lenses, like the kit lens that used to come with APS-C Canon cameras and Canon's 50mm Nifty 50 lens. But even Nifty 50 lens feels more solid than this very light XC1545. But what I hate about this lens is what Fuji calls electric zoom and comfortable operation. Electric zoom. Oh my god, it is so, so bad, very bad. I don't like it at all. Yes, I understand that thanks to this electric zoom, they have been able to create this compact lens. But the experience of using this electric zoom is just bad. First of all, every time you turn on or turn off your camera, the lens extends or folds in. Which means that if, let's say, you're walking around with the camera and after a few minutes the camera goes into sleep mode, the lens automatically folds in. When you bring the camera out of sleep mode, the lens extends again. But you've lost your focal length that you have set before. And it's a problem because here you don't have any focal length marks. Only the camera while you're zooming, it shows icons on the screen, like on all digital cameras, how far you can zoom or zoom out. So with this lens, you won't be able to set the exact focal length. And each time you wake or turn on the camera, you will have to set the focal length again, which is truly annoying. Then the zoom itself. I must say thank you Fujifilm that you didn't decide to implement zoom on this lens via buttons on the camera, like on digital cameras. Imagine you have your Fujifilm camera and you have to dedicate two buttons that would zoom and zoom out. Fujifilm didn't do that, but looking at this camera I can easily imagine that they could have done that. Instead of zooming with buttons, you have two zoom rings on the lens. One operates similarly to buttons. You twist to the right and hold and the lens zooms in. You twist to the left and hold and the lens zooms out. Recently, by accident, I discovered that the other ring that I thought was meant for manual focus actually does the zoom function too. And you can twist the ring around and the lens would zoom in and out, but a bit slower than with the bigger zoom ring. So, considering all the downsides that this lens has, out of all, I would say electric zoom is what I dislike the most. But what about the good sides of this lens? Is there any at all? Well, yes, there is. 
First of all, it is quite compact lens. Of course, it's not the best quality or good looking lens, but this compact and pairing with XT30 Mark II still feels compact. Then there is versatile focal length from 23 to 69 mm in 35 mm format equivalent. Yes, the downside of that is dark aperture, but if you are considering using it outside on a bright day, this aperture would be enough, and to use it inside you're probably gonna need a flash. Glad I have one on my X-T30 Mark II. Additionally, this lens has the ability to focus close up from 5cm distance. And as Fujifilm says, this lens is ideal for those wanting to take close up shots of food, flowers or small accessories. Of course, if you are into this type of photography. The versatile focal length of this lens was one of the reasons why I decided to take this lens. And the other reason was optical image stabilization. I thought that it would be nice to have the option to film some handheld videos with film simulations on my Fuji. So optical image stabilization would be handy as without it shots might get quite shaky. Here should have been a video segment where I walk around the park and test optical image stabilization, but I messed up audio cable so there is no audio. Still you can see how image stabilization works when walking and vlogging handheld. I think it looks decent. Then the best result out of image stabilization you get when shooting standing still. The image looks steady. Comparing to 27mm lens, which you can see are more shaky, and with this XC lens you get that subtle handheld movement that I like. Then image stabilization works nice even fully zoomed in, when movement occurs more visible. But stabilization does the good job. But where I didn't quite like the result was handheld walking. In this shot you can see that the shaking is much more visible. Although if we take a look at the result with the 27mm lens, then the first option doesn't look so bad anymore. After all, the image quality that this lens produces is nice. I don't have any complaints. I had this lens with me to the seaside and made few shots there. The only downside again is that you don't know what focal length you are shooting in, so it's hard to keep consistent focal length throughout the entire shoot. And lastly, the price. When we are talking about all the downsides of this lens and how bad it actually is, we have to take into consideration that it costs only around $150. In my case, with the kit, I had to pay only $100 for it. At this price point, it is hard to imagine that the lens that can do it all could exist. So here from Fujifilm you get a nice package of compromises. The only question is, will they suit you or not? At the end, I think if you are into street photography or in general into outdoor photography and you need some versatile lens on a budget, then this lens could be a good addition to your kit. But I definitely wouldn't recommend taking this lens to pay jobs, as not knowing what focal length you are shooting won't be good in some situations. As I said, this lens could be a good for street photography, for travel or landscapes, for example. You just need to understand the limitations of this lens and how to walk around them. I hope you enjoyed my review of Fujifilm XC1545 lens and I hope it helped you out make the final decision whether you need it or not. If it did, please do leave the video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and also you can now watch this video that might be helpful to you as well. But for now, have a nice day and keep shooting!